Are you ready to get productive with OneNote? Because OneNote allows us to share information with our colleagues, it's sometimes not a good idea to delete or rename notebooks. If you're using a notebook just by yourself, you can delete it. Just right click on the notebook and go to close this notebook. That removes the notebook from your OneNote workspace. It doesn't delete the original files though. If, for example, I had stored the notebook in my My Documents folder, the original files would still be there. So if I really wanted to permanently delete the notebook, I would go into that folder in Windows and delete the original files. I could also rename the notebook by renaming those original files. Make sure you've closed it first, and then once you've renamed the notebook, you can reopen it again and it will have the new name applied. If you're sharing the notebook with your colleagues though, they will have a copy of that notebook open in their OneNote program. And if you rename or delete those files, that will break their synchronization process. But sometimes we do need to rename a notebook even when it is shared with our colleagues. And I find that the best way to do that is actually to start a new notebook with the correct name. Once you've done that, share it with your colleagues and move all of the sections and pages from the previous notebook into the new one and let your colleagues know to close the old notebook down. Once you're sure that everybody's closed it, then you can delete those original files. You'll also find that if you right click on a notebook name in OneNote, that you can go to its properties and in its properties, you can change the label of that notebook. So if you did just wanna rename the notebook for your own personal use, you can do it that way. That won't change the notebook name for anybody else, but just the way it appears in your notebook list. So now you know the best way to go about deleting and renaming notebooks, you can get productive with OneNote.